Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So I recently have been making a lot of cutting boards and I have been using the mineral oil uh, to dunk the cutting boards in and to get them, uh, I guess, uh, moist or seasoned as it were, and then finishing them with some beeswax and mineral oil uh, wax that has worked out very well but I've recently run out of the wax. And so I pondered to myself, well, you know, it really cannot possibly in my mind be that hard to make said wax. So I did a little Googling. It turns out there are plenty of videos out there on how to make uh, wax for your cutting boards. It is actually very simple. So I did it. So this video is not so much about making the wax, but the process that I use to maybe what I'll call productize this a little bit. So um, I went out to Amazon, I got some beeswax. I chose to get white beeswax rather than the yellow. Um, in hindsight, I think maybe the yellow might have worked out a little bit better. Um, it, uh, the white, uh, I, I'm assuming is bleached, so it just doesn't look like beeswax but that doesn't really matter so much. And I also got some uh, mineral oil from Amazon as well. Uh, I will leave link to, uh, links to those below if you want to re reproduce what I've done. And then I got some little tins uh, to put the uh, wax, beeswax um, oil combination in, uh, and then some stickers to put on top to kind of make a, a nice little product uh, for the wax for the cutting board. Now. I'm gonna use this predominantly as, as I make a cutting board and I sell a cutting board or I give a cutting board away. I will give the uh, wax uh, to the recipient with the cutting board as a kind of like, hey, thanks for buying this or um, hey, thanks for letting me make this for you and give it to you for free, <laughs> which I've done more than I care to admit. Uh, so this video is really gonna be a kind of a walkthrough. I'll do a voiceover over the process of making the wax, uh, which is very, very, very easy. Um, and then, uh, you know, applying a sticker, a little bit of branding uh, to the product. And then I will wrap it up at the end uh, with just kind of a summary of, of how it works. Uh, now, I will offer some uh, small quantities of these on my website if anyone, for whatever reason, wants to purchase said wax. Um, but I think, honestly, uh, since... Uh, or after you see how easy it is to do, uh, if you're so inclined, you can do it yourself. It's a very straightforward. Um, if you don't want to have the time and patience uh, to do that, and you want to spend, uh, you know, four or five dollars plus shipping uh, to buy a little tin or a big tin, uh, um, feel free to, you know, go out to the website and do that. I would appreciate that. I'm uh, not making a tremendous profit on any of this by any stretch of the imagination, because that's not the point of it. Um, but uh, after I show you the little montage of making the uh, wax, I will actually walk you through exactly what the material cost was and then, you know, talk about the unit cost that you could potentially charge for these things. All right, so let's uh, cut over to the making video. So the process starts here with a pot and a metal bowl. What you want to do is fill the pot with some water and create a double boiler. Uh, to get the bowl warm without directly being exposed to the heat. Next, measure out your beeswax. In this case, I am using a half cup of beeswax and then uh, four half cups of oil to make a four to one mixture. You pour the oil into the metal bowl, let it warm up, and then mix in the beeswax and let it warm up, stirring occasionally, and then let it, the beeswax slowly dissolve into the oil. Now at this point I turn the heat off and let it cool a little bit while I laid out the tins that you see there in front of you. I started out with 12. Ultimately, this particular four to one mixture made 15 individual tins, which you'll see here in a moment. I am using a funnel to ensure that the beeswax mixture goes into the tins nice and evenly and I lay out here an additional three tins well, I actually laid out an additional six but I only filled three um, and then I let these cool for a, about 15-20 minutes until they congealed. This is me putting the stickers on the tins. Uh, these stickers I purchased actually last year so it's just coincidental that they fit on the tins but they actually fit perfectly so it worked out very well in the end. 
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, so you can see from the video, it's super easy to make. A little bit of mineral oil, a little bit of beeswax, a little bit of melting, and a container to put it in. Now I chose to put mine in little one ounce tins um, and then put some stickers on top. Okay, let's break down the cost for this particular project. So I purchased a gallon of mineral oil from Amazon and it was essentially $21, which is 16 uh, cents, US cents per fluid ounce and then a pound of the beeswax, which at the time cost me $9.95, which is approximately 62 cents per ounce. Now that one pound thing that I purchased is no longer available. You can only get two pounds for $19.95, which is a little bit more expensive uh, per pound, which is kind of odd. Usually if you buy more, it's less per pound. And then I purchased 30 of the little tins for $10 which is 33 cents each. So, hi, Cyber Reef Guru from the future. So, as I was editing the video, I realized that I did not compute the material cost properly. So, let me break it down for you. The four to one mixture, I used 16 ounces of mineral oil, which is $2.62. Used two ounces by weight of the beeswax, which is $1.24, and then I used 15 tins, which is $5, totaling $8.87. For the two to one mixture, I used 16 ounces of mineral oil, $2.62. I used four ounces by weight of the beeswax, $2.49, and then I used nine tins, which is $3, totaling $8.11. So the four to one mixture was 59 cents per tin, and the two to one mixture was 90 cents per tin. Even though the material cost was almost identical, the two to one mixture was more expensive than the four to one mixture because it yielded fewer tins. <clears throat> now, I did realize after the fact that I was using the weight volume for the beeswax and a liquid volume for the mineral oil, so I'm not entirely sure the four to one and the two to one is actually four to one and the two to one. Um, after they congealed, they both work pretty well. Obviously the four to one is a little bit more viscous. Um, it goes on a lot uh, wetter, so you need to let it dry a little bit more versus the, the two to one. But they both work equally well. Um, if I were to do this again, I might try it uh, kind of one to one, which is the weight volume to liquid volume and see how it works out. So let's fast forward from the future to the past. I do believe if you were to get bulk purchasing of the ingredients, the costs might actually go down. But I have personally purchased a four and six ounce um, container of this in the past, and it has cost me anywhere between uh, six and ten dollars, which is, you know, roughly. Um, let's see, six times. Let's say it's three, so twelve. So it's a roughly. Uh, somewhere between five to eight times more expensive to purchase it in the store than making it yourself with the container. Now, obviously, you can get less expensive containers rather than the metal. You can get plastic, uh, or you could use a Tupperware container or whatever you have on hand uh, that might not cost you anything. And so the costs are really very, very minimal to do this yourself. Now, I will be offering uh, some of the little tins on my uh, website, uh, link below if you want to purchase some. Um, but as you can see, making it super easy, so no big deal. All right, that is the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but I would also ask you to leave a comment and tell me why you did not like the video. Uh, lastly, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Very important these days. And... Don't forget to be inspired. Hi, Cyber Reef Guru from the future here. As I was editing the video... <clears throat> Hi, Cyber Reef Guru of the future from here. <laughs> All right. Hi, Cyber Reef Guru... <laughs> Hi.